I want to see how this runs by itself. It's not doing the worst job. There are scout vehicles that are a lot worse. I won't mention the International Scout. Yes, I know people like, there are a lot of people out there that like it. I've just had too many rollovers with it for me to like it. I do like the new paint job on it. It's not bad. Alright, let's get you home. And we'll go for the Voron. And we're almost done with all the tasks. So, start tracking. Service spare parts. So I've got well, it says I need one. My crate of spare parts. Oh, this is vehicle spare. Huh? No, this is service spare parts. Huh? Don't know. All right, we're taking it anyway. We'll take them both and let him figure out which one he wants. Now this truck runs good on this map. Everywhere I've taken it, it has went and didn't give me many problems with the chain tires on it. And I like how the tires stick out from the bed. It gives it more stability. I don't think there's been more than three or four times I've ever flipped this truck. So now would be a good time to flip it. Uh, I've got you in the way. Oh, that's right. I was going to use that truck to make this delivery, but... And I found a good use for the uh, Ford here. I did take the uh, suspension lift off of it, and it seems to be doing better with the suspension lift off. It's not as tippy. Am I going to clear it? Yeah, no problem. I can do better than that. I actually didn't mean to release it. Now I meant to release it. And what am I looking for? Restore crane. Activate the anchors back. Because you don't want to leave that crane up in the air. Still good on gas. Alright, so where is this house? Oh, we got to cross water. 
Excellent. Give me my camera back. I don't remember if I had this truck across the river yet. I think I have. But I think it might have been with mud tires. Or the all-terrain tires. I really like this truck. I wish they'd come out with a skin for it. A new paint job. Yeah. Thought I could do that. Yeah, this is going to be my new water crosser. No problems. I've still got the uh, P12 and the Colob are still sitting across the river. I got to bring back. Oh. Easy now. <laughs> so your scout is wrecked sitting on the garage roof in Smithville Dam. <laughs> That's a good place for it. I was thinking about taking a truck and uh, just throwing it in the river. Seeing how far to go down the river. That might be just the truck to do it. Oh, you'll make it through there. Famous last words. I couldn't tell if there were any stumps there. Okay. Ah, it was two. So I'm glad I did pick up the other one. And... I saw a building I haven't torn down yet. So this is a good opportunity to do that. Make sure I move back far enough. And loading platform. Oh. Oh, I didn't see it load over there. Bricks. There's one I need a lot of bricks for. Uh, I don't remember which one. I think it's on the other map. Mm. 
but I will get you while I'm here. Go up. Save me a trip over here. For that menu there. For the instructions. And pack the cargo. I've got to restore the crane. Because I don't want to get too near that box. Because it could make things disappear. I've had that happen. I tried to load something up, but it just disappears. And the only thing I can figure is I was too close to the box. Back to anchor, crane, get rid of that. Close to the truck. Oh, wait a minute. Went too fast. All right, so this truck is ready to go back. So you think physics lock will stop it unless you sit it in for a wholesaling episode? Yeah, now I did have one truck over on Smithville Dam that I screwed up and went into the water and I couldn't get it out. And yeah, okay, we've completed all these now. Uh... So I just left it floating and came back a few days later to check it out and it had actually floated to where it was on a beach. Barely on a beach, but it was on the beach. And I went down and repaired it and was able to drive it up off the beach. So we have conveyor belt section two. So that's section two over there. And if I'm not mistaken, I can cross, yes, I can cross right here and come over there. Or was it here and go over? Nope, it's right here because I can go uh, right between this and the truck should make it over here and deliver there because I do not want to take this road. This road is an Amandra road. And everything gets stuck there so the concrete blocks I can either get them at a, oh no 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 no! I am not going to do that I know what I'm going to do I'm going to change trucks uh, who did I have is the Voron nope you're still over there the Azov yeah. So, I am going to go make my concrete blocks. Ah, uh, but I can't make them with this truck. I have no way to load them back up. I don't have a crane on it. Alright, so let's get you back to over here. And let's go back to the garage. See what I've got in the garage that can. Because what I'm going to do, I'll go over here to the uh, where am I at? To the warehouse. Get the cement. Take the cement up to the concrete plant, and make my concrete blocks. Ah. Yeah, I still have one time to vent to do. I haven't done the down yet. Do you have a crane?
train. Nope. And I really don't want to. Well, I guess we could. I don't see why we couldn't. Put some chain tires on you and see what you can do. If it'll hold a crane. I don't know if it'll hold a crane. So can I put a crane in a flatbed? Should be able to. It sticks out far enough. No. You can't load both. Well, that sucks. Uh, so we'll save you for another time. I could put... Oh. I can't put a crane on that one. Alright, we'll take you. So to make concrete blocks, it takes one cement to make one load of concrete blocks. And I don't know why it sits so far back, but it does. Um, if you can see the uh, on the trailer or on the bed, that center light, that's the center of the bed. And it is between the two drive wheels, so it works. But everything shoved so far, so far back. You have a perfect gap that you could add maintenance and fuel, just like the 750. So if any of y'all know one of the developers, put a bug in their ear. Or you could do like the Bandit and put it on top. This vehicle really needs extra fuel. some in cab it's much quieter in the cab I haven't decked it out either yeah I'm gonna fix that Kind of reminds me of driving a Hemet back in my military days because the cab sits forward of the front wheels. Only this is much nicer. I think this is where I got cement. Yep. On the loading platform. Uh -oh. It's a little bit on the heavy side. weak Russian cranes and actually I don't need to pack it 
I restore the crane, change trucks. We use the Dan. Oh, wait a minute. I do need to pack it. Because if I don't pack it, it won't let me put out another one. And then we use the Dan. Stop that engine. And restore the crane, activate the anchors again. I am going to use the Dan uh, to deliver some loads. Uh, but right now I needed it for over here. Unpack, repack, and we're off. Give me my camera back. There you go. and broke that down. And I'm going to have to get some fuel. Just to make sure I'm okay. So something freaked me out the other day. I went in the garage, had a load on, and I was just going to look to see... Oh, it's going to change tires. So as soon as I got in the menu to change the tires, my load disappeared. And I thought I lost that load. So I went ahead and changed the tires, put uh, chain tires on. And as soon as I got out of the customization menu, my load was back on the truck. So if you didn't know, now you can go in the garage with the load on. When the game first came out, if you tried to do that, your load would disappear. It would be destroyed. I have not tried to see if I can go in with another vehicle on it. I need to try that. So move to the garage. So yeah, when I went into customization, See, the load disappears. Once you come out of it, your load's back on. So I just wanted to fuel it back up. Keep it topped off. And I like that they did that. Uh, they allow you to t go in with the load on now. Because there are times you go by the garage and all you need is a little bit of repairs. Which you could bring a truck out and repair it, but it's easier if you can just go in the garage, get fueled and repaired. So cement is unlimited at that warehouse. As far as I know. So 
So anything you need concrete blocks for or concrete slabs, you can get it from there, run up here, and get it from here. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Two cement. And concrete blocks, zero in... I do need blocks, right? Yeah, blocks. So I'll craft me up two of them. Why'd I do that? So two in stock. And I'll go over here to not unloading, loading cargo on the loading platform. And get over here a little closer. So I don't strain the crane. And if I do a lot of this, which I think I will, uh, I may want to bring a big crane over here. block, one left, loading platform, and load. And it automatically repacks my crane, which is why I didn't repack it. Crafting made simple. I kind of like doing the whole crafting thing. I haven't counted up how many steel rolls I have throughout both maps. Because some deliveries require just the rolled steel. But you can also take the rolled steel and make metal beams. But I don't think you can uncraft them. So I'd hate to make a bunch of steel beams with metal rolls and find out I don't have enough metal rolls in the game to finish it. That would kind of suck. Alright, so I got plenty of gas. watch this curve because I tend to take it too fast and either overshoot the road or end up overshooting it and rolling the truck over. Should have been in high gear.
one you climb this it's nothing for you yep. it doesn't turn very well but it goes about anywhere you want it to shoot for the gap and avoid the mud. Yep, you'll bog down on me. a heavy load. And pulls right through with no winch. I better make sure I stay straight. That could be bad. I'm out. That's why I love the two Azovs. They'll go anywhere you put them. If you need to get there, these trucks will make it. It's just too bad it has such a small fuel tank. It's actually, I think it's better than the other one. Uh, but the other one has the bigger fuel tank. So I tend to use it a lot more. And in my first playthrough, I'd never really used these trucks. I thought they would be too tippy. So I never bought them. And I was wrong. I gotta get all these trucks back. Does it not give me... Maybe I got too many... Oh, I may have too many trucks in here. Let's back these out. Oh, I know why. I'm in the wrong I'm in conveyor section two. I went to the wrong place. So I'm supposed to be over here. Oops. Alright. Well, we can do that. So 
That's what happens when you talk and drive, not paying attention to what you're doing. So I am going to need to steal all of your gas. How much do you have? Yeah, you got a little bit. Yeah. They can share that gas getting back. Well, at least you know how the how this truck runs through this mud. Now let's go across the river. Could take that road. The road that's on up here a little bit. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I know it's a pain in the butt road. And I haven't taken this truck down. Pass it already? Nope. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. See what the truck will do. And if it gets stuck, I have plenty of trucks sitting around here that can help it out. Big mud hole. I forget which truck, which truck I brought over here. Uh, first time I tried this road, one of the big trucks, and it was just such a pain in the butt to get through here. So far, this truck is handling it pretty good. There's some of the wood I need. That's two of them. Come back and get that. Like to get up to the left, but I think that transition there might flip me over. All right, so this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So four small pipes and four wooden planks. I know where two wooden planks are now, so might as well go over and get them, since I am here. And 
and I do have enough gas to get go ahead and get them and get out of here About right there should work. Uh, cargo. Loading platform. Anchors. Anchors away. the other one. So one thing I like to do, I like to let the anchors go all the way down before I go into crane mode. There's been a few times when I haven't done that. And when the crane comes out, it kind of tilts the truck one way or the other. And that's caused me some issues loading up because the truck won't be level or as level as it could be. Yeah, that's steeper than it looked. this at a straighter shot so don't risk tipping I right, four small pipes and two wooden planks where can I get two wooden two wooden planks two wooden planks and I can get through there Maybe. Yep. Thirty one gallons of fuel. I like how you have to go out and search for things, but it also makes me feel like I'm kind of stealing somebody's house here, and that bothered me a little bit, loading platform. So I keep telling myself that I'm not stealing people's houses. Uh, during the flood the local government came in and bought all of these so we're not actually taking people's houses Pack it. Get out. I don't like this part where I have to keep 
packing it to uh, get it to work. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. You can do it pretty quick. But I do find it annoying that I have to keep unpacking the crane. Repack, restore, and we're out of here. Yeah, but well, get a little closer to the pole. I didn't want to back too far over that embankment there. Well, that was Bob's fault. I'm not taking the blame for that one. I thought I lost it. You know something I haven't found in the game yet? I have not seen a single wolf. Does anybody know if the wolves are even on these maps? I miss the wolves. Yeah, I agree. This truck is one of the best. If I could pick any of the trucks in the game, if I had to like pick three or four trucks to run the entire game, this would definitely be one of them. Alright, small pipes. And we are doing conveyor section two. I don't remember where small pipes are. At the warehouse. We can do that, but first, let's check the warehouse, see if we have a limit. Wrong warehouse. Small pipes, yeah, there's only two small pipes here. I need four. So, let's check the other warehouse. Other warehouse has unlimited small pipes. Since there's not a number beside of it, it's unlimited. Uh, where am I at? So it could cross right there. I could take my chances and cross right here. Yeah, let's just go on down the road here. I don't want to lose this truck. And I want to see if this truck can make it the rest of the way down this road. I think right here is where I lost, trying to come through here, I lost the load when I did come down here the one time. Yeah, 
active suspension would be nice about now. I don't know, it seems pretty deep right there. Ooh, and really muddy. I may have made a bad decision. But I see rocks ahead of me. Climb up on a rock. And I have the two big boys right over there, on the other side of the river there. The Colob and the P-16. Go high here. So I'm not really sure if that's a viable crossing coming back with a load on, but I may try that. Where does that put me? Oh, it puts me over here. I know where I'm at. I would go ahead and get this, but I've got the step sitting right there, and the step can come over and get this. So I get it now, I will have to go back to the garage and unload it before I go get the pipes. I am about out of gas. So I need to boogie back to the barn. I don't know. Nope, you can't. I was wondering if, you, if I could haul a fuel tanker with this. With the crane and the bed on it, but you can't. Seven gallons, you're going to make it. That's another reason I like taking this one and the other one. Because the other one has more fuel. And they can kind of share the gas. Almost forgot about that big hole. All right, let's go get some pipe. I need four, so that'll make two trips. Because I am taking you with me. Actually, no, I'm not. I am going to take it with me, but... other one lead because it has more fuel and if this one's being towed it uses less fuel and 
The other one is plenty capable enough. Uh, where's my other Azov? There you are. I would like to get rid of the strobe lights on the top, but you can't. You think they'd make a way to get rid of those? Because yeah, you do have people with epilepsy. Epilepsy. Uh, epilepsy. And the people that may have see other types of seizures that you know, wouldn't use something like this because it could trigger them. Plus they're annoying. And I know you can turn them off, but every time you start the engine they come back on. Bob needs to buy some wire snippers. Snip the wires. Alright, so we're running on uh, two hours here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode because I need to download these videos. Give me something to do tomorrow. Uh, get these. Well, actually, I might have to do one tonight so I can have it out for in the morning. And break it up in half. So I appreciate y'all watching me both on YouTube and on Twitch. I thank you very much. And leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. And for those of you on Twitch, thank you very much for all the chats. I really enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next episode. So until then, have a good one.